In this tutorial, I'll be going over how you can create strokes with a variable width using Affinity Designer. So to get started, I'm going to grab my pen tool over here and I'm just going to draw a simple path. I'm going to click once on the canvas to add a point and I'm going to hold the shift key and just bring this line straight across the screen horizontally and then click again to create another point. And then I'll press the escape key a couple of times. I'm going to grab my selection tool actually. And now we have this simple path that we've drawn. So if I come over here to the stroke menu, I can use the width slider to make the stroke a little wider. And if I want to make it so that the stroke is wider at some parts and thinner at other parts, I can come down here to where it says pressure. And if I click on this little stripe right here, I get this little menu that pops up. And these handles represent the weight of the stroke along this path right here. So this represents the start point and this represents the end point. If I bring this all the way down, I can click in the middle here to add a new point. And if I bring this all the way up, you can see what happened to the result there. The stroke is wider in the center, but thinner at the ends. And I'm going to increase the stroke weight so you can see that a little better. You can see what that did to that path right there. And if you want to edit this further, you can add more nodes in here. You can click to add more points and you can move these points around like this. And you can see when we do that, we end up with this effect right here. And you could just continue to do this if you want to. You can keep clicking to add more points. I'll add a couple of more in here like this, bring this one all the way down, and you can see we end up with that effect right there. Now, if at any point you want to reset your stroke so that it's back to how it was before, all you have to do is click this button over here that says reset, and it puts you back to its original starting point. Let's have a look at an example of when this could be useful. So let's say I'm designing a logo or an icon or some kind of simple depiction, and I want to create a variable width stroke of these objects right here. All I have to do is click on it to select it, and I can come over here to my stroke menu. I can click on the pressure stripe, and I can update this so that the stroke is wider at some parts and thinner at the ends. So let me increase the stroke size. And there we go, just like that, we have that crescent moon sort of appearance. And I'm going to do the same thing over here to this shape. I will change the pressure settings. Let me increase the stroke size. And there we end up with that effect right there. And if at any point you want to convert this to curves, all you have to do is select both of them. And you can come up here to where it says layer and go to expand stroke. And now you have vector pads there like that. So that is how you can create variable width strokes using Affinity Designer. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Affinity Designer Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Affinity Designer, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.